Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to master your songs from start to finish and this is going to be amazing. We're going to be using this song. Uh, it's a cover of Feel by David Doe. It was done by an artist called Diamond. And I'm just going to let you guys listen to how it sounds like now. Hold me down, hold me close. I'm so the one that you chose. I know the pay, I know the gara. <laughs> Even when I it's want Naira, I dare for you 24 7. You're my safe heaven 24 7. I'll be on the phone calling you tonight. Yeah, so let's master. Alright, so first thing that you need to know when you're mastering your song is that your mastering will not fix a bad mix. You know, if you already have a bad mix, don't think your mastering is going to solve the the matter. It's not going to solve it. It's just going to make it worse. So, um, first thing we're going to do is highlight a, a portion of a song that we think might be the loudest. Let's just use this part. For this tutorial. So, I'm going to walk you through everything I do during mastering. I always start with this NLS boss. NLS boss is kind of like a, a saturation. It, it just makes your mix sounds like you went through an analog board, if you know what I mean. So, for me, most times, this NLS boss, I actually don't touch anything. You know, this drive is just for you to drive the song to give it that analog warmth but most times you don't really need to touch it just put it on it and it already has a warmth already so this is what it sounds like with it as you can see it's already picking up you know that means it's working if i exaggerate it you can hear that distortion so basically i just turn it down and leave it like this and you can actually put it out there are different different settings there's a neve there's mic, the spike. Sometimes I like this neve as well. It's, it just gives it this warmth. I think I'm going to go with this neve. So from there, I go to my compression. I always use this uh, boss compression. Now, the work of this is not to over compress, but to glue the track together. If you know, you're like, I want to glue the track together. So I'm just going to set this on three microsecond and just put this on auto to make it easier on us now try not to yes this makeup gain turn down because we don't need that right now try not to comp compress more than between 2 to 3 db because our aim right here is not to over compress our aim is to glue the track together so, so i'm gonna i'm going to head for something around 2 db of compression should be fine it should be fine and in this i want our loudness to be around between 8 and 10 db so watch out for that later on next thing i do is add this eq this is a putec eq what i want to do with this eq is to add some uh presence or some brightness to my mix so i i go here i put it on 12k and brighten it up a little bit. Now, let me exaggerate it for you so you know what it's doing. See how bright it is now? The top end is very bright. So, that's what we want. What we want to, want to do is subtle. Let it be subtle. Right? This should be fine. It should be fine. So, I'm hearing some harsh frequencies around 10k. So, I'm just going to try and pull that down a little bit. I always prefer to use a dynamic EQ. Um, so, I'm just going to make this one dynamic. And pull it down a little bit. Then, tighten up the Q just a little bit. Oh my God, 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 oh my God
That's all. That's all. Now, this next plugin is an exciter. It affects vintage exciter. Just uh, what it does is kind of like what the um, Putech did to excite the vocal, make it more happy, you know? So let me exaggerate it for you guys so you hear what is, what's it's doing. Right? You can hear what it's adding. So we'll add that was subtle. Right? So I mean, this is good. This is good enough. Now, one thing I also do is add harmonics to some part of my mix or some some frequencies in the song. Let me come further here. I think this part will be a better place. All right, so this is vitamin. What I do here basically is around 120, I turn down the stereo spread. So everything below 120 hertz becomes, uh, those are my low frequencies. I like them to be in mono. So you won't hear them on the sides. So let me solo that part. Right? So every information you're hearing right now, they are all going to be in mono. Then I can also add some harmonic saturation to them. Right? This is harmonic saturation. So everything you're hearing here is harmonic saturation. Just add a little bit of that to my mix. Then around 750, this is my low mid. I also like to like add a little bit of saturation to that. Let me... If you're using headphones, you should be able to hear a little bit of saturation, what's coming in. This is harmonic saturation. So I just add a little bit of that. Bring back the original signal. Here also, this is my mid. Just a little bit. I can see, I, as you can see, I spread them a little bit. And here, I always reduce it just a tad. This should be, no, this should be around 10K. So let's, let's move this to 10K. Yes. That. So basically, that's all I do with this place, this vitamin. And now it's time for us to bring it up to our volume, the volume that we intended it to be. Right now it's speaking around, let's say, 17 dB. We want to get it to be around 8 to 10. So I always use this um, L1 limiter. Just put down the threshold so you're comfortable with this volume. So basically, that's all I do. That's how I master my song. So let me, this is what we had before, before we started mastering. Hold me down. Let's use the same part. This is what we had before we started mastering. And this is what we have now. Now, yeah, so one thing I forgot to mention, your out selling, make sure that it's always at zero. Or for me, sometimes I like it to be at minus one, right? Make sure it's always between minus one and zero. And that's all. So that's basically everything I do in my mastering. And if you want to ask any questions or you have some other topics that you want me to treat or talk about from start to finish, of course, I'm going to respond to your message with a video and I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know. So, 
Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. So, see you on the next one. Let's go! No one sleep alone When I hold you tight What I fool my eyes